did you know that there is this company called WL Gore, Haan. which has offices that can only hold 150 people. Okay. okay. It's a large company, but what happens is that whenever the number of people go beyond 150 in any one office, Haan. they build an entire new building and that building also they make uh, space only for 150 people, right? So they just okay. have these large number of building offices, each with 150 people. So Why they clearly they have the money to build more offices, but yeah. they will not put more than 150 people in an office. Correct. Why do you think that is? 150 is their lucky number or something? No, not at all. In fact, the Swedish tax authority huh. recently restructured their offices huh. so that each office has only 150 people. 150. Okay. Yeah, right. be. Okay. And the reason for that comes actually from anthropology, where uh, basically there is a rule saying that humans, huh. on an average, can have only 150 friends. Okay. So let me explain. They, uh, I have seen Facebook pages and Facebook profiles with numbers in thousands, and yes. you are saying only 150. So I will explain, right? I mean, the, basically, it means that your Facebook friends are not real friends okay but let me uh, explain, right i don't have a facebook so, but still uh this 150 by the way is called dunbar's number and ah, that's excellent. what we are discussing today so um an anthropologist called robin dunbar huh? he had the bright idea of looking at the sizes of groups of monkeys and apes and other primates right? okay uh, that uh, i mean what is uh, the natural group size hmm. that they have in the jungle Right? Okay, okay. And what he noticed that each species hmm. has a certain size and they stick to that size. That is the first thing he noticed. Okay. Then he had this idea of trying to figure out if there is any correlation between the size of their brain huh. and the size of the groups that they form. Right. And when he plotted them huh. for monkeys and apes huh. uh, on a graph, right, on the y, uh, y axis, it is the size of the group, on the x axis, it is the size of the brain, and what he saw were all the dots were like On this, a line. On a sort of a line. Yeah, right? I mean, yeah. Clearly, there line. was a correlation. Hmm. And what it told him was that the brain has, gives you a limit on how many monkeys you can have in your group. Okay. So, uh, hmm. as the size of the show, uh, uh, as the size of the brain increased, the size of the social group also increased consistently with a certain Correct. equation. Right. So, what it means is that your a given brain hmm. is capable of only handling a certain number of relationships. So, it is ideal to live in groups of that size because okay. you can have that many relationships with the monkeys. And if you add more monkeys to the group hmm. now social uh, relationships break down because you no longer know all the monkeys in your group, right? So larger groups don't really work very well. Oh, okay. So of course, Robin uh, had the bright idea of taking the average human brain size huh. and plotting it on the same graph and, and come up with the number 150. Ah. Then he went back and studied tribes, right? And uh, he looked that typically average tribal size, group size, is around 150, right? I mean, there is a range like 130 to 230 or something like that. But 150 seems like a natural uh, size for human groups because that's the number of friends, right? People you know, people you un sort of understand hmm, uh, hmm. and you can have a decent relationship with 150, right? More uh -huh. than that. and. They stop being real people, they become just stereotypes and you no longer care about them as much, right? Wow. So you can't care about more than 150 people. This is this is making me evaluate my entire life in so that's, many ways, I can't even begin to describe. Like, that's the whole point of this entire channel, okay? Really? Evaluate your life in ways you can't even imagine yes. and describe. Yes. Wow. <laughs> and I get to do that every single week with every single episode i hope you do too if you if this channel has led you to evaluate your life in a entirely different way in an entirely different way post it in the comments in fact, let us know in fact you know i can argue huh. that the reason social media is so toxic huh. as compared to your real life right huh. in real life in your neighborhood hmm. uh, right you don't go around being angry at people and <laughs> outraging uh, right if somebody does something bad you go and talk to them nicely 
Why do you talk to them nicely? Because you know them as a person, right? You know that this person has two kids and those kids are cute and this person wakes up early every day for those kids and this person also uh, takes really good care of the garden. Whole bunch of things you know, right? Whereas on social media, there's just it's just handles handle, and numbers it's just handle and, number. and anyway, yeah, yeah. you can't keep track of more than 150. And mm. that leads to, like I said, it leads to a breakdown of the social relationships when the size is larger. Yeah. Right. In fact, that's what those uh, companies were trying to do. It be even it, it it would be a very interesting analysis to carry out on people's individual social media profiles to see how many people they interact with on a daily basis. In fact, yes. Guess what? It has been actually done. Before that, let me though uh -huh. explain one more concept, right? Okay. What Dunbar did was when he was studying the group sizes, uh -huh. he noticed that there were different kinds of groups. Okay. Right? Okay. So there were like an entire tribe is around 150, but within tribe there were smaller groups. Makes that, sense. You know, hunted uh -huh. together and did various things together. Uh -huh. And he noticed that again and again the same numbers would show up. Okay. Like you know, a small group of five, another small group of around 15. Okay. A group around 50, then 150. 5, and 15, 50, 150. Right? Okay. And uh, so this, it's always a factor of three. Hmm. Nobody really knows why it is. But we have these different group sizes. Hmm. So now this whole entire series is called uh, uh, Dunbar Numbers. Not just numbers. one number, right? Okay. So everybody hmm. has around five close friends right close friends as in who know everything that's going on with you whose shoulder you cry on right hmm. uh, so those are like your jiggery dost right jo soulmates two spots empty ha contact me uh, in fact that's, a, that's <laughs> an important concept right empty spots because what it means uh, and by the way you spend 40% of your time with these five close friends oh okay okay but also it means Hmm. You can't have more than five of those because your brain does not have the capacity to handle more than five such friendships. Okay, hmm. which means that Wait, when what does it mean you can't have? Because if I make a new close friend, doesn't that become the sixth person? No, you end up dropping one of the other people. You spend less time with them. Okay. Oh yeah. This is what happens. Sorry, Sanket. When a new romantic relationship causes you to lose friends. Okay, hmm. and this is actually something that even parents complain about, right? Oh, you got married and now you don't have time for us. It is true, Dunbar number is an evolutionary reason for that. Thank you so much for giving me yes. the excuse. Right. The next bigger number, 5 times 3, is your 15 good fr uh, uh, close friends, right? Yeah. Not, not like soulmates, but close friends. Mm. These are the people you want to actually have fun with. Mm. These are the people you can trust your children with, mm. right? Mm. That's mm. around 15. The next bigger number is, oh, before I go to the next bigger number, let me talk about this 15, okay? Yeah. It's an important number. Please. Amazon huh. is famous. I mean, Amazon is one of the most successful companies in the world, right? I was really worried when you said Amazon is famous, like, duh. <laughs> so, Amazon is famous huh. for having what they call two pizza teams. Okay. Okay. Uh, Bezos insists that any team that works on a you know single project huh. Huh. must be of roughly fifteen people, because you know a team shouldn't be larger than what two large pizzas can feed. Right. That's why he calls it two pizza teams. But what you notice is that this is fifteen, the second Dunbar number. This are the people. This is the maximum number of people you can handle whom you can trust with important things, right? Mm, Your interesting. team goes beyond 15 and now you no longer, there are people you no longer can trust because you can't keep track of what all they are doing and you don't understand their strengths and weaknesses as well and so on, right? This is very then fascinating. Basically, when it grows beyond 15, you have to break it up into multiple groups and give different managers to them, okay? Ah. If you are a software developer and you are working in a team, uh, tell us what your team size is. Let's let's do like a informal survey, straw poll kind of a thing in the comments, hmm. and let us see if uh, your company believes in the Dunbar number, the second Dunbar number. This is the second Dunbar yeah. number, I'm assuming, yeah, yeah, or not. Anyway, yeah. The next Dunbar number is 50. Okay. okay. So those are the the friends uh, good friends right okay. so if you are going to have a big birthday party wait, that's wait, wait, the 50 wait. you will call the 15 are the close friends yes and the 50 are good friends correct right 
So close friends are the ones you trust with your children. Hmm. The good friends, 50, are the ones you will call to your birthday party. Ah, achha. right. Hmm. Um, and um, then after that, three times of that is 150, which is the Dunbar number, which is your friends, people you know. Hmm. Once you start going beyond that, right, 500, hmm. 150 times 3, roughly 500, would be acquaintances, right? Okay. People whose names you know, hmm. right? Uh, well, not, I mean, you sort of know them, you meet them huh. once a year, sort of. As in, if you meet them, you'll be able to say, hi, hello, how are you doing? And ask Correct. them one personal question about Correct. them. Yeah. 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 1500, the next number, huh. is your acquaintances, right? The known names, but some of them you might not remember any of the other details, hmm. right? And then beyond that, 5000 is the known faces. As in, face looks very familiar, but I can't remember his name. Something that happens to me a lot. Right? Gorsip, uh, never mind, sorry. Uh -huh. So there is five, which is the absolute inner circle. Then there is 15, which is your close friends. Then there is 50, which is your uh, good friends, friends. Good friends. Then there is 150, which, which is, is the friends. number of people you can hold information about. Let's Relationships, just say. yeah. Uh, relationships. Then there is 500, which is you just know them like acquaintances hi, hi. and then there is 1500 and 5000 correct yeah ah. and these are numbers that people have found empirically by studying how humans behave right and you pointed out social media so there is actual research right mm. so in 2007 or so mm. uh, one research group mm. took uh, uh, around uh, 6 billion phone calls right and they analyzed who is calling whom and how many times and so on okay in that they cut out like transactional calls that you're making to order pizza or something like that yeah and they cut out uh, business calls right so we're talking about friends and acquaintances and so on listen you might develop a friendship with the pizza guy that you call regularly i am not questioning that but mm. in in terms of the but research that made sense different yeah <laughs> <laughs> but so huh. what that study showed I mean what they did was they just looked at all the data huh. and they saw whether there are groupings in the data huh. with different behavior huh. right based on how often you call them huh. and they noticed that there are actually four distinct groups right so around three to four people huh. you call once a week or more there is that group hmm. And then there is sort of a blank space and then suddenly now there is like, you know, 11 to 15 people that you call once a month, but not once a week, right? Okay. And then uh -huh. again, there's a bit of a black space and then another bump around uh, 30, okay. right? And then another bump around 130 is the pe 130 is the people you call like sort of once a year, right? So happy birthday, how are you? Happy birthday terms. Yeah. Um, what you will notice is this multiply by three is coming yeah, in this yeah. each time. Although the number seems to be a little different from what I said earlier, they are a little lower. Huh. And what they said was that, you know, because these are only phone calls, right? The difference, Correct. I mean, you have a few more people that you see in person, but you don't call as often. Yeah, I so, would at least add one more person uh, who is a neighbor, who yeah. is your work uh, desk mate, yeah. who is your, I mean, people that you meet regularly, but you don't need to necessarily call regularly. Correct. Yeah, so in general, <laughs> I think this analysis shows huh. that something like the Dunbar number actually exists in real life, Absolutely. even when you are using social media. Correct, because right? uh, otherwise you would expect like a continuous uh, number and not these discrete jumps of 4, 11, 30 and what, 130. Right. Fascinating, right. fascinating. So, uh, you talked about the two companies before, w, uh, WL Gore and the Swedish tax authorities. Did yeah. they also then do it on the basis of Dunbar number or did, yes. did it so, just... WL Gore, this is the company that makes Gore-Tex brand of uh, breathable waterproof uh, clothing used in sports. Like, you know, all the runners and all that will use that. Okay. So, it's a successful company hmm. and they did this, uh, you know, they discovered it. Okay. Okay. They just tried various things and after experimentation, they figured out that 150 is the right number, independent of Dunbar's research. Oh, Whereas okay. Swedish tax authority did it after knowing about the Dunbar, Dunbar number. number. Okay. All right. But there are lots of examples in the world hmm. where people have hit upon this like 
uh, you know Bezos 15 mm. two pizza teams I mm. don't think it was based on a knowledge of Dunbar number he hit upon that and just noticed that it works very well so but Dun that's the beauty of mathematics it does tend to reappear in in Correct. places where you wouldn't expect it to right reappear. right so it happens naturally if you are smart about it mm. but now that you know that this exists you can be extra be, smart about it yeah. not over smart extra right. smart and you can be smart without having to go through the years of uh, trial and error correct but uh, interestingly uh, since you said years i was thinking just about the years past mm. we had the pandemic we had the mm. lockdown uh, the uh, the lockdown basically prevented us from meeting people irl in real life yeah, yeah. how how did uh, how how did Dunbar number in that situation get affected or so um, I mean I've not looked at the research there mm -hmm. but my guess mm -hmm. is that you know you need a Dunbar number of five that you're spending a lot of time with mm -hmm. and lockdown and that has to be face to face right this correct. is evolution from 100,000 years ago correct uh, so uh, most people mm -hmm. f during COVID could probably have just two or three yeah. Uh, that they were interacting with mm. so there was a gap mm. there mm. a need that wasn't fulfilled and that is why i think a lot of people spent a couple of years being lonely or just feeling bleh yeah. and a little yeah. off right and i'm guessing the extroverts must have especially felt the problem uh, heavily because they weren't able to go out and yeah eat. actually so that's the other thing i wanted to mention which is that this dunbar number isn't like a precise number right okay okay it's a range Fair. so some people i mean when i say five hmm. some people need only three some people do seven eight Correct. right but that five close friends is not going to be 50 hmm. in most cases right but there is a range extroverts have bigger dunbar numbers and introverts have smaller dunbar numbers and i've heard that say sharad pawar I've heard people say that 10 years ago you had pitched some idea to him and then you meet him again uh, and he will remember that, right? Mm. So there are a few freaks who probably go like way beyond the possibilities. Not but calling Mr. Pawar a freak by the way, it mm. is just the concept that he's trying to explain. Yes. And for those who don't know, uh, Mr. Sharad Pawar is a very famous politician in Maharashtra, India. And he is rumored to have a very powerful memory, like he'll mm. remember obscure details from 10 15 years ago is what we've yeah. heard we haven't had the opportunity mm. to meet him if mm. we do meet him uh, now and 15 years from now we'll be able to verify this fact for sure mm. but not sure if that is ever happening so anyway uh, is dunbar number uh, something that we should maybe aspire to in at our workplace like wl gore did or like the swedish tax, tax authorities did should we stick to that should we make it happen so i think it is good to think of it as a rough guideline. Okay. I mean, always be ready to experiment and look at uh, the results, right? Always uh, monitor things. Hmm. But uh, I mean, at the very least, now that you know about the Dunbar numbers, hmm. that should guide your experimentation, right? Your yeah. experimentation should be in that direction. Hmm. Uh, and you can reach the ideal setups faster uh, because now you know what to look for. Hmm. What kind of experimentation are we talking about here? Like trying to figure out which one of your friends comes into the inner circle and which one to kick out? Well, actually experimentation I was talking about was, you know, if you're a manager at a company and what ah. team size it should be, but sure, you can <laughs> do that. <laughs> Manage your own life like a yeah. software company yes. following the Dunbar number. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so that was Dunbar number. This is Shrikant. That's Naveen. Thank, Thank you. you.